Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Idiot in Space. In the last episode, we built Green Leader here, and uh, this is him completed, as he was in the snap or in the 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 oh thumbnail. That's the word I was looking for. In the thumbnail that I used for the last episode, um, basically this angle right here. But this is basically what he looks like. Um, I didn't do too terribly good of a job making him look pretty, I guess. I don't know. It works, though. It looks military-esque. Um, and it's not... It, it, it didn't lose any momentum or maneuverability or anything. Ooh, uh, one thing. I did uh, hypothesize that putting two gyroscopes in there... Uh, would possibly help performance, help uh, maneuverability. And that has been confirmed. I was reading the wiki uh, yesterday. And one of the ships, I believe it was the military transporter I was reading up on, uh, it mentioned in there that because it has 14 gy or gyroscopes instead of its normal two, like they changed it in one of the updates, uh, it was more nimble. So yes, more gyroscopes equals more maneuverability. So if you have a big giant ship and it's hard to turn, more gyroscopes. Um, now you'll notice that you heard the guns firing, but I have a little yellow ship right here, and there's a reason for that. And that reason whoop, is because of that joke that I mentioned in the last episode. Remember how I was saying that uh, I'm going to be sitting there working on the or pulling something out of the cargo container, and all of a sudden the back end's going to disappear. Yeah, that, that's that's about what happened. Um, I wasn't eating the ship at the time. Uh, I was doing something. I think I was finishing up red or green leader, and then I took it out for a spin just to make sure everything was working. And then I came flying around, and I saw these giant holes in the platform, just a bunch of them. Like, there's one right there where the green is uh that's the one that i noticed first that's right after i finished up green leader that's why it's green it's because i never changed the keller back uh but there was a couple other holes in there i'm like what 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 the hell uh turns out the turret that i had on the edge of the platform there ran out of bullets because i don't have it attached to a conveyor system yet working on it um and this one couldn't keep up and an asteroid hit it and just blew out all of the equipment. Uh, I still haven't finished building the uh, assembler here. It took me forever to get all the parts to get the refinery again. I thought I was screwed. Uh, the only thing, the only saving grace was that this storage container was still intact. And it had all of my supplies in it. <sighs> so, uh, little yellow ship is going to be sitting behind an asteroid for now um and what i might do is actually create like a, an extra platform back here just with emergency supplies in case something like that happens but i had to quickly run around and uh build start building stuff uh because i don't i didn't have the parts enough to build an assembler over there well actually no it was the reactor the reactor was also blown off of the ship um, and I didn't have the reactor components to build another one. But this reactor was here already, because it was powering the gravity generator here. Uh, so I quickly put all the parts together to get the assembler and get the refinery built. Um, so I started working on that uh, really quick and rebuilding it. Um, I also have two small cargo containers here and just a uh, conveyor tube, because apparently I wasn't smart when I was built or, or putting this all together and uh, the refinery wasn't attached or the assembler wasn't attached to anything uh, the reactor or the refinery so I couldn't get to transfer things without taking them out and it was a pain in the ass and uh, all right so uh, for right now I've got two turrets on the platform fully well not fully anymore they were actually firing at things but they seem to go pretty slowly through ammo, so that's not going to be too, too much of a problem. But I do want to put some conveyor tubes under the platform here and run it uh, 
over to the uh, turrets. Though it's not going to be terribly easy to do because you can't put anything beside the turrets, so I have to tear out the bot the block directly underneath them, and that disconnects them from the station. So I don't know if I'm going to have to tear out the turrets and then put in the conveyor system. This is always creepy. I had this bright idea. Why don't we take the business shipment, throw it behind that asteroid, and draw some of the comets that way? No, no, didn't work. They all still seem to be coming over here. So I don't know what that means, but that is also one of the things we're going to do if we get lucky. Um, I have every intention of trying to capture every type of AI ship. Uh, but I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Uh, there are, th like I said, there are three classes of ships. The small, medium, and long, or uh, the civil, mining, and military. That's what I was going to say. Civil, mining, military. And then there are three classes of each class of ship, small, medium, and large. I thought the business shipment was the smallest that you could get. Uh, the private sale is the, pr is the smallest you can get. And that commercial freighter, that blew my ass up in a previous episode that's the largest civil ship so we're going to work in order we're going to start with a private sale if we can get it then we're going to catch another business shipment uh then commercial freighter and then we're going to move up to the mining class um so military transport i'm not going after you today <sighs> yes screw that um but today what i do want to work on uh all right, so I have a couple ideas. Uh, one thing I want to do, I want to make a turret platform. So I'm going to have a bunch of turrets, uh, at least four, to protect the platform and the new equipment that I put on here. Uh, but I was thinking, well, why, oh, why, oh, why would I take a conveyor system and run it the entire way over to the edge of the platform? It's kind of a waste of time. Why don't I just build it up here where this connector on the refinery is? That way I don't have to have that many um, conveyors. And I don't have to waste that much equipment. And, you know, it could be up here, high up. It could see a lot of the area. You know, it should work better in theory. Well, why don't I do that? Okay, well, I'll just tear off this uh, collector here and figure out a better place to put it. And then I thought, well, why don't I put it over there in this area? Like, expand this out and, like, make that a landing pad kind of thing. I could even enclose it to protect it from the, uh, cheaty comets. I don't know what else to call them. They're just unfair comets. They're ones that just go so fast that even if the turrets are targeting them, y you can't hit them. Um... So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to work on building a platform for the turrets so I can actually have a conveyor system for them. And then we're going to work on a landing pad if we have the time. Uh, what I am going to do... Um, where is its merge block? I've got to play with the merge block, the rotor... Yeah, the rotor and the artificial mass. I've got to play with those. Um, but where is it? There it is. Conveyor. I need interior plates. Well, conveniently, I have access to all that right there. Oh, and it saved. The saving still screws with my head. Why do I have so much shit in my inventory? Why do I have so much crap in my inventory? That was after I built uh, this small cargo container. We shall have to test this. Hang on a second. I'm mildly curious now. Um, so let us pull all of the stuff in my inventory out. And then we're I'm only going to put in the stuff necessary for the conveyor. Okay? Only the stuff for the conveyor. Uh, so basically 50 interior plates, 120 construction components. So... 50 interior plates, 120 construction components, okay, uh, 50 small steel tubes, 2 motors, and 5 computers. Yeah, I'm not going to remember that. Uh, boop. 50 small steel tubes, 50? 
Wait, 50? Yeah, 50. Two motors and five computers. Two motors. No. Two motors. Uh, and five computers. Oop. Okay, so now I'll, I have everything in my inventory and only the stuff required to build this conveyor right here. All right, now I did that the same exact thing for this small uh, cargo container. And for some reason, I had a lot of stuff in my inventory left over, even though I thought I only had enough for that. Um, and I don't remember doing anything else. So I'm going to do that again here and see what happens. So, like, maybe uh, there's a glitch and I can duplicate items, which would be goofy, but hey, you know, I mean, this is an alpha game. Things happen like that, and... Uh, Oh, 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 private sale. Screw this. Screw this. <laughs> it's like that was the point of this episode. We're going after a private sale. Uh, where is... There he is. Come here, green leader. You're going on your first actual mission. Your first away mission. Boop. Private sale, private sale, private sale. Where are you? All right, I got to watch out, watch out for that military transporter, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um... Yeah, oh, it's gone already. <laughs> Here I was worried. Not really. Uh, just get up to speed. Inertial dampeners off. And then I can just coast to where I need to go. Now, I don't think, uh, according to the wiki, there are no um, weapons or traps on a private sale. Uh, private sale, uh business shipment don't have weapons the commercial freighter has like one turret or something like that and they actually go up from there but i'm not 100 percent sure about that um i just quickly glanced over the wiki at the la or yesterday just doing a little research here and there just to see um but i don't think the private sale is going to give us any problems so the idea is that if um, yeah, if there are no weapons on the private sale, which I really don't think there are, then I'm just going to land on the private sale and then jump in the private sale and just fly back over to our asteroid. Just so I can say, hey, I've got the private sale. You know, all that fun stuff. Three years fuel time if I'm just coasting. I love it. Turn back on inertial dampeners to stop the sideways momentum and try to get close to in front of the private sale. This is not easy. Because these things don't run like straight at the asteroid you're on. They run pretty far away. A couple thousand meters. Um, so it's hard to aim for in front of the ship. And it's really kind of hard to see in front of the ship. All right, so we're going to find out here real soon if this thing actually has weapons. Oh, we would know by now. Um, that was close. All right, so let's get up to speed. Come on. What? What? It's pulling away. Oh, we were still slowing down. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I got some maneuverability issues to work on here. All right, now the best way I've found to do this is to match your speed as close as possible with your inertial dampeners on, and then turn them off, and then manually fly the ship to where you need to dock onto. Which is not easy. Seriously, it's not easy. All right, where do we want to dock? Let's dock right there. We'll need external view so I can see. Got to go down, forward a little bit. So basically, yeah, just a manual docking procedure, like that episode, like the mission at Farpoint from Star Trek, the next generation where they're doing everything manually. 
in the first episode. They make Riker do it manually, even though it's not really manual. It's just... Yeah, I always thought that was a little bit of a cheat of an episode, because it's not really manual, is it? Um, it's just him telling everybody what to do, and... Whoa. How do, where is the pilot seat in this thing? There's the reactor. Where is the pilot seat in this thing? <laughs> How are you supposed to control the damn thing? Are you not supposed to? Whoa. Yeah, I'm not seeing the pilot seat. Huh. Well, that's interesting. And this is going to be really hard, especially since I keep turning off the damn jetpack. So it's going to be really hard to get to it to turn on the inertial dampeners. Alright, so nice and gently. Very, very slowly. Just tap, tap. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Just need to get right there, I think. Come on, nice and slow. Easy, 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 easy. Alright, that should do it. Okay, control panel. Shit! This thing doesn't qualify as a ship? I want this ship! Come on, there are thrusters on this damn thing. It has to qualify as a ship. Um, anybody else see something wrong with this? Because this isn't working. I'm not seeing any other controls. That is the weirdest thing. Where's the reactor? I saw the reactor. Is it on the other side? It's on the other side. So we'll take a look at the reactor, see if we can get to the controls of the reactor. Nice and gently, nice and gently. Easy, 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 easy. Come on. There we go, there we go. Uh. Shit. Cockpit too. Okay, so cockpit is a thing. We just have to find the damn thing. Where is the cockpit? See, we have a gyroscope. There's the forward thruster. At least I think this is the forward section. Large-ass cargo container. That's always cool. Alright, I'm going in. I don't care. Because it looks like you should be able to go in through here, but that's not a door. Ah! There we go. The door was hidden. You bastards. You evil, evil bastards. They well or they sealed it shut. Nope. Get, oh. Come on. It's not letting me. There we go. Okay. Um inertial dampeners on. Of course I pissed it off because I have green leader attached to it still. Alright, are we stopped? Good, we're stopped. And I'm not ripping green leader off, so that's always good too. Let us head towards our little asteroid here. And I'll just park this guy behind our asteroid, and we'll have the first of the series. What the fuck? What? The shit? What the hell just happened? I just parked the ship. And now I died. Um, this ship is poorly designed. Oh, look, my grinder's just floating there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm good. I don't need another grinder. <laughs> um, that was interesting. Yeah, I think I might have gotten out of the cockpit into 
a wall, and it kind of fucked up, fucked everything up and killed me. All right, so private sale has been added to our collection. P. Gone. Yay. All right, and then that's pretty much what we'll do as the, uh, whoop. Oh, pfft, my inertial dampers were off. I forgot I turned them off. Uh, but that's pretty much what we'll do uh, as we go. I'll be building, and then I'll, if I can see it, um, there we go. Yeah, if I see one of the, sh the next ship on the list, then I'll stop and I'll go get it. You know, if I can. All right, where were we? Oh, yes, I was testing a theory. And that theory was that if I had all of the stuff in my inventory and then I built the item that I put only the stuff for in the inventory, would I have duplicate items? Well, not a good test, because <laughs> I kind of died in the process. But I did check while I was flying the ship back and I did have extra stuff in my inventory. I had more stuff than I should have had in my inventory. So yeah, apparently there's a glitch somewhere along the line here. Um, and I end up with extra stuff. Oh, I don't want that in the assembler. I want that in small cargo container one. Because I just, I don't use the hand drill anymore because it's kind of pointless. All right, um, I, I lost my train of thought. Where was I? All right, so what do I do from here? Hmm, how do I want to build this thing? Do I want to build it just above the conveyor? Like build an actual platform above the conveyor, have a turret directly above the container, but it would be like a conveyor belt on top of it. And then from outside of, or from the four sides of the conveyor, more belts would come out allowing me to put more turrets. Yeah, that works. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, though I probably need a whole crap ton of interior plates. Um, boop. So I put... I need steel plates to build conveyor tubes. Oops, I thought I needed interior plates, but uh, I was mistaken. Steel plates. Uh, okay, so um, I do this with production. Enable, disable. I, I enable the repeat mode, and then I set one of each item that can be made with just iron. Oops. I went a little too far there, didn't I? Oh well. I've got plenty of stuff, anyways. Um, anything else that I really, 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 really need? Nah, not really. All right. Anyways. Um, yeah, I just and then I just leave it go. I have so much crap I can do that, so it's not really a problem. All right, so that conveyor will point directly at another turret. So I'll build a turret on top of this. Um, can I put the shell on here? I've got mail. Um, I doubt you heard that, but I've got mail. Um, ah, stuff that I needed to take care of yesterday that nobody sent me information on. All right, so I put the turret there. All right, and then I build around it with the armor blocks. Um, boop, 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 boop. It's not gonna let me. Hmm. Well, this may end up be not actually working. Uh, I may not be able to actually build the system like I want. So let me build there. And it'll let me build up. So that'll work. That'll work. Um, but yeah, so I build the platform out this way. And I build another turret here, but with a tube connected from the conveyor there. Uh, this may not work all that well because of that particular problem. Um, I don't know if those are going to connect. Probably not, actually. So if I tear out... That block right there, these two will go floating away. Um, so that may end up being a problem. Might. I don't know. Um, but I guess I can find out. Oop. 
But yeah, this will be the general idea. I'll build a nice big platform right here with a couple of uh, conveyors, conveyor tubes underneath it, and a bunch of turrets. So that way I actually have the power, or the security I need. <sighs> I'm getting distracted. Like one of those. I don't know. You didn't see it because I twisted my head too damn fast. But some of these comets go so fast that it's impossible for them to target. Um, yeah, I just recently saw one just blow right... There was another one. They go so fast you can barely see them. It's like two frames and that's it. It's ridiculous. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to build up this platform as I see it in my head. And then I'll come right back and show you guys. And there we have it. This was my idea, basically. Um, it's it's kind of like a lighthouse of death. Yeah. Um, you know what's really really creepy is when you're building this and you're working on you know so or welding the floor, but you already have three turrets built and you have two more down there. It is really creepy when you hear all five of them firing simultaneously. It's like. What fresh manner of hell is coming my way? Holy crap. Um, but I don't think that's going to be a problem anymore now that I have uh, seven of them. Though I am planning... Well, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do just yet with those two. But I have an idea of what I'm going to do. Okay, so the, the idea is that I'm going to extend this walkway out. And I'm going to enclose the platform. So... Ow. Instead of standing on the platform, I'm going to be in a station. Uh, so, like, I'm going to build a landing bay over here, and in here is going to be, like, an actual station, an internal station kind of thing. And I like the idea. And what I'm thinking about doing also is just putting up a wall, like, here, and having a doorway out onto a balcony. Like, uh, instead of having this cut off here, I just square it off. And then moving that turret over there. But I'm still going to have to put out the uh, conveyor tubes. But hopefully by then I'll have my stocks resupplied. Um, and I'll be able to do that. So, yeah, I think that's actually a really good idea. Uh, so we will continue building um, the space station that I had. that per The space station that presently has no name. We'll start building that in the next episode, and I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.